Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 33 of our vanilla City of Skylines that's playing. And we are looking at our new and supposedly improved transport hub at the moment. Um, so well, this is a, this is our cargo hub rather. So we've redesigned this a little bit just to uh, keep it kind of a little a little more symmetrical because this place was a little bit messy. Um, and we're having a little bit of traffic issues here with it. Um, it was working fine up until I built it, but I think now um, the city just has so many exports because of all the industry we have here. Uh, we are just not coping with two in this one area. So we need to maybe have a look at where we can build another cargo hub at some point. Uh, we're not going to do that today. Uh, but we did make a few improvements on stream uh, over the weekend uh, This this being one of them uh, we, we redesigned this uh, And then we also went ahead and built a little bit of a commercial park area uh, Alongside our train station here. So last episode we redesigned all our train lines and this is working amazingly This has been running off camera for a while now and trains are flowing as they need to so really really good happy with that and then over here is where we have well where we used to have just a single fence to stop people walking onto the tracks but we've knocked the fence back right up to the railway now and then we have this little commercial sector with a path running behind it and then we also have a little bit of a, a sky walkway through here uh, which is working nicely, lots of people using it to get across the tracks into the transport hub and then this little bit of um, park, we just decorated it with a couple of benches and a few trees and bushes uh, just to kind of flesh out a little bit and then that links up to that side of town as well and again we have our little, our little gate as well so really happy with the way this area turned out um, it's not quite finished yet, still got a bit more detailing to do around here We'll probably place some trees in here as well. Maybe a little bit of a park area. Perhaps a little gazebo around here as well next to the main road. Uh, yeah, and we also as well, more off camera detailing. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, here. So last episode when we did our train line overhaul, uh, we also added in this train station down here. Um, which is receiving a tidy amount of usage now, 231. However, I then extended the track along here. Uh, we had to move this road uh, to join in at this junction because with it flowing here with the train track, it just wasn't working. Uh, so we've amended that. And then this track comes behind the prison uh, around all kind of the dump and garbage kind of processing buildings. And then up and over the highway, curves around, and then brings people into a train station here. Which again, you can just see there is a ton of people waiting on this line. Uh, and we do have um, just a train line that runs up and down uh, this, this part of it. Uh, I think we actually need to probably add in another train. Uh, let's just have a look how much usage this is getting. So it's got three trains on the line at the moment. Let's just have a little look here and see how many get off. Yeah, so that's handling it okay. Um, do we have a bus line that's serving this? Yeah, we do. Okay. Um, I'm actually going to go ahead and move that bus line um, to in front of the train station. And uh, that'll just give people, we see how many, the trainers all spawn cars at once and all them people flowing out. And there's actually a lot of people heading into the amusement park from the train station too, uh, which is really good. So yeah, we did all that on stream. Uh, links are in the description to Mixer if you want to join us for a stream one time. Then you know, it'd be great to see you over there. We had a really busy stream last night actually, and um, gained a couple more followers. So definitely stop on by and, and check out the streams. They're usually on the weekends. Uh, and then we've also added in a little more content into our kind of uh, low density suburban. Uh, vibe we've got going on near our university campus here uh, and I'm actually also going to rebuild um, these sections to flow in the same grid style so our university will eventually be surrounded by grid uh, residential 
uh, so we'll work on that at some point that's probably uh, a job for a stream but today I wanted to start work on our national park and the town that is going to accompany it obviously we can't go too far into it because you know we're missing the last tile that we need to complete this uh, but we can start on our town anyway so we built this road here this is just a high speed road uh, one lane going in each direction from our little uh, interchange here the little wide one kind of a little countryside interchange uh, so I'm just going to start by bringing this uh, I think we'll leave it there then what I'm going to do is grab the highway ramp and we're going to make a tiny tiny roundabout here I do have my snapping on okay I actually need the other road for this. There we go. So I'm going to go head out by about two. Okay. Uh, and now I'll have a road like this. Heading down in that direction. And then I also want a road. Um, probably about here and then we'll have that one there now I'm kind of basing this off a town that I know in real life uh, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off snapping for this now this is going to curve down here to about there and then it's going to head off with snapping back on in about that direction. Now I'm just going to rebuild this a little bit shorter uh, to about there I'd say. And then we're going to link this up to there. And we're going to grab another one way road and then connect that up to there. And that's going to flow in that general direction, uh, at least for now. Okay, so let's carry on this little one-way system here. Curve that around like that, and then have a little bit of a straight road. So I'm basing this off a town where I actually work, and um, this kind of general structure is really popular where I live to have one-way systems, and um, they can be efficient and really helpful. But 90% of the time, they are a real, real ball ache to use. Um, and the traffic gets quite bad on them. So it's probably not the best idea to replicate that in city skylines. But um, they do look alright. Then over here, we're just going to have some uh, straight up residential streets that are going to lie in this part of town make sure we leave them enough room as possible okay and this is actually nice because this gradient here uh, the town I'm basing this off is actually really hilly so it's um it's a good job that it actually is working out like that okay and then this road here is going to connect people to our national park so I think we're going to have it go off in this direction and then just curve around a little probably up to there and then there as well so let's paint out our part district right now 
um, basically all of this and beyond will be the I keep calling it a national park even though in city skylines it's called a nature reserve but you guys know what I'm talking about high garden any Game of Thrones fans in the house? Um, okay, uh, yes, wonderful. So, Nature Reserve is what we want. We're going to go for Nature Reserve Main Gate. So, I just want to finish off the road network before I start uh, connecting things up. So, I'm going to have that there. And then we're going to also have a road that is running parallel to this one to eventually connect up at the bottom. And then again, the same over here. Oh, that's interesting. It wants to build a bridge. Okay, that's okay, okay, that's pretty cool. We'll keep that. Totally unintentional. Uh, we can even get a couple of little uh, footpaths under that, I think. That might be quite cool to factor into the landscape. Yeah, we can as well. Okay, yeah, we'll definitely do something with that. Okay, so this is the general shape of the town that I'm going for here. Uh, and then we're going to switch to the dirt road. Give myself a little bit more leeway. Okay, now let's grab our national park entrance, which sits there. Okay, all looks a little bit rough and ready around the edges right now, but we are going to do um, a lot of terraforming here. Uh, not not today. We're going to work on the town, uh, but we'll definitely be doing some of our national park on the episodes, uh, and then some of the finer detail and stuff uh, on the streams. Also, as well, um, if you haven't checked out the channel for a couple of days, uh, we posted our first ever Destiny Two video um, this weekend. If you guys are interested in checking out Destiny 2, maybe you're looking at getting into it uh, for the first time with the new expansion that's coming out, or if you've always thought about maybe playing a bit of Destiny 2, uh, then go ahead and check out the videos. We did the first ever strike on mouse and keyboard, and then a first ever cruise, uh, PvP match on mouse and keyboard as well. So go, go and check those videos out, they're, uh, they're on the channel. Okay. So I think I would like uh, a train line here. Actually, no, we're not. We're not going to make a train line. Um, we're going to keep it quite rural, I think. Um, I don't really want that kind of density in this part of the town. Okay. This is pretty cool. Liking the look of it. Let's go ahead and connect up to the main grid. We are going to need power over here at some point as well. But we're going to go ahead and start with our zoning. Uh, so as they come in, they are, meet, they are greeted with a little bit of zoning here. And a little bit here as well. And then some up along here. And then all this block along here is going to be commercial, as it is here, and here. We'll have to see what kind of buildings we get these with these little one block ones, because I don't want uh, a lot of tiny little tall buildings that spawn in. Zone these up slowly. We don't want to be suffering from death waves at any point here. And then I'm going to go ahead and actually uh, make this a path. 
just to get rid of those one-way squares. Uh, and then I want residential all along here as well. Alright, we are back. Sorry about that. I just had to run and grab a parcel from the door. Uh, okay. Uh, let's just very temporarily connect this up. That should give you guys power. Splendid. Okay. Um, large playground somewhere. Oh, this fits in tremendously well here, doesn't it? So that would be a good opportunity for it. So if you guys are interested in seeing this, uh, go ahead and look on Google Maps and look at a town called Windermere. Um, it's the kind of adjacent town to England's largest lake, which is where we live. And uh, this is kind of what the town is based on. I do want some small commercial in and around here, along these spaces, uh, along here as well. And these kind of main flowing streets, we want all this to be commercial. Uh, we'll have a touch here too. And then we'll make a little bit of a, a bit of a park area here, I think, just to link people around the town. So they have access to wherever they need to go. There we go. Okay, we've got a little bit more demand for zone in here, so we'll pop in uh, a little more commercial alongside our residential as well. Slowly chugging away towards that 80,000 population. Just have a look at what's going on. See how the road connections are doing here. I don't want traffic lights here. Um, this needs to be a giveaway. Uh, so they need to stop here and prioritise uh, the the main road. Again, we might even build another little small town with this. Let's maybe plan out for that right now. Uh, this is the one that we want. Yeah, just like that. Right, so we may even have this as a mountain road leading to some like kind of really, really small mountain type villages. So we'll plan for that, because we have a lot of these kind of roads, and that can be the road that flows through the National Park. High Nature Reserve is not what it is called. Um, we'll just go with Fremwood National Park for right now, but if you guys want that named after you, then let me know in the comments, and it shall be so. Okay, let's do a little a little bit of detailing with our park over here. Let's at least start it out and see what we've got to play with. Okay, so we've got some tents, campfire site, and small nature reserve main gate. Okay, so we have these paths that head out from the nature reserve. So I think we're going to have almost like a little congregation into the nature reserve, kind of where you where you would arrive. We can maybe place some props around here. Um, kind of stuff like this. Maybe a little a little picnic area when you arrive.
And for the trees, I want the kind of the big redwood looking things for this place. And again, a lot of kind of overgrowth along the back of them. The majority of this kind of detailing is going to be done on the stream. So if that's something that you want to see, then make sure you head over to uh, the mixer link in the description. Okay. What does it need for leveling up? Entertainment and total visitors. Okay, so maybe we can place in um, a couple of tents temporarily because I don't want campsites right here as soon as you enter into the park. These will kind of be on their own little sections within the mountains. Got some nice spots for a viewpoint up here as well. Looking out across the city, what level do we unlock the viewpoint? Oh, it's only level 2. Okay. Okay, we're just a little bit short. Uh, let's have a campfire. Let's have that in over here and place a couple of them around. Okay, not overly happy with this. And um, just the way it looks. Uh, maybe we can have another road that comes down here and connects up. Okay, got a little more residential demand here. Let's satisfy it. Okay. Just make sure these guys have got enough water and then fill them in. Kind of an overgrown park here. Nothing too maintained like you would find in a city. You know, yeah, we are trying to be out in the countryside here, so things are a little more wild. Lots of large bushes. I'm kind of trying to base this off stuff that I know from where we live. This road seems to be coping okay. Even up here as well. Although this one does not seem to be. Maybe we can give this guy a couple more lanes. That should help split off the traffic into any locations that they might be travelling. Maybe the second one back as well. I'll just allow them to split into wherever they want to go. Okay. This toll booth is working really well. 80, 96 cars charged in a week. Um, people are using it. A couple of problems over here with not enough buyers for our uh, raw forest products and planned timber. Um, these guys don't have their own um, train transport line anymore. Maybe we can add that back in. Pretty sure we should be able to. Just like that. And if I can... Of 
grab this and like that. So let me just double check how much that was. 600 and then out. And there. Okay, so that should give these guys that are producing our industrial products now have a connection back onto the industrial lines around our train depot. So we should be okay there. Um, I also wanted to fill in there. We're going to wrap up by just spamming some trees in. So like I said guys, um, go ahead and check out the channel, check out the new Destiny videos, let me know what you think, I'd be really keen to hear subscribers thoughts on them. Uh, don't forget to check out the Mixer link as well. Uh, we tend to stream on the weekends but you know there's some pretty chill streams and you can come and see uh, kind of the, fireless, the finer stuff in Friendwood being detailed. Um, so if you're interested in that kind of thing, if that really gets you going, then you know come and, come and stop by and let me know. But uh, otherwise, yeah, I'd love to catch some of you guys in the stream here. And I'm just totally decking out this um, roundabout here with trees. So it's a nice little, almost like a little garden within the city. Pretty cool. Okay, guys, so we're going to leave it there. I've uh, started our little town here. Well, these guys do need their own their own services, so we'll make sure that they are supplied with those as and when needed. A fire guy should be heading straight out of here. So the one-way system's working really nicely, actually, just keeping everyone flowing. And there's a little cut through just here as well. Get some nice little pans of this here. Take a sip of my drink. <sighs> Tell you what, I am so obsessed with Fanta Fruit Twist at the minute. I can't get enough of the stuff. Um. Okay. So yeah, that's it, guys. We'll leave it there. Um. Thanks for watching. If you like this kind of videos, please do feel free to leave a like. It really helps me gauge what you guys do and don't enjoy in the channel. And again, equally as much, if you didn't enjoy the video, please also feel free to leave a dislike as well. Uh, as I mentioned a thousand times, links below to my Twitter, uh, Mixer, Schedule and Setup if you are interested in knowing when these videos come out and what we use to make them. Uh, all that information is in the description. But I'll let you guys go. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Next episode we're going to start planning for the airport over here. So that should be fun. Enjoy the rest of your day guys. Thanks for stopping by.